Hi everyone, happy Valentine's Day. I'm Benji's mom and I will be showing you how to make a stained glass decoration today. You will need to have scissors, a pencil, and glue sticks for today. These three things. In your bag, you should have two black outline card stock. We have four designs, so you will have one of the four. So there should be one, two of the same exact design, and you should have several sheets of tissue paper. Lots and lots of colors to choose from. Be careful, tissue paper is very fragile and can rip easily. Right. First, take a look at your two black card stock. Because these were cut by machines, sometimes the blade can run off and the lines don't cut as well. So pick the one that looks the best to be your front side. For me, I see a little detail here, not so good. I'm gonna pick this one to be my front side. So this will be my back side. All right, next, take this not so great outline. This is your back side, this is your, set it on your table. Decide what colors you wanna put down for each of the blank space. So maybe I want pink for the E, and maybe I want purple for the N. You can have a color for each of the space. If it's hard to see like my paper here, my suggestion would be to grab a scrap sheet of paper and put it underneath your cardstock. So maybe a white sheet of paper on top. And that way it's a little bit easier to see. <laughs> a little bit better. Right. Okay, so for the first thing, I'm, I've decided that, okay, I want my B to be pink. So I lay my tissue paper over the B use my pencil, trace around the B but leaving lots of edges without going into the next space. Alright, so notice how my my space, my um, my little parallelogram here is a lot bigger than my B but I'm not going into any of the white space. Alright, take your scissor, cut out the piece you want, okay, make sure you trim it. Again, make sure you don't make it exactly the size you want. Don't make it exactly the size of the B. Make sure it goes over a little bit like so. And now take your glue stick and put glue on all the black parts. All right, so put glue around the B and I'm gonna put it inside too. You really want it to glue onto the inside as well. And now you glue down your B. Remember, you can glue over the other tissue paper. So for example, let's say E. For my E, I want blue instead. All right, so I want blue for the E. I lay down my blue and look at how much I want. Okay, I'm gonna use the blue. Looks like I need this much for the E. Okay, the outside doesn't have to be perfect as long as it covers a letter and you are using some of the black parts to glue down your tissue paper then you're okay. Alright, so here is my little piece for the E. So notice I'm overlapping my tissue paper on the black and that's okay. All right. And even if you want to, you could overlap your tissue paper. It's, it creates a new different um, color, it creates a, a new idea. That is definitely something creative you can try. But this is definitely another way to go. Okay. Again, don't worry about the overlapping because remember when you're done covering all of this, you will be putting this final one on top and notice how your overlap won't show up at all. You will have B one color and E the other color. So whatever you're doing in between, it will not matter, okay? So fill up the rest of these with whatever color you want, fill up each of the pieces, and then at the very end, take the one that you want as a cover, turn it over, turn it over, put glue all over your cover, and then glue carefully on top of your project. Right. So that at the end, this is what you want to see. Right. And you can put this over light. You see how the light is coming through? So if you want, you can put this on a window or um, 
put it on a door at home, have your parents help you out, and let the color come through. And this is your stained glass crown time. Hope you have fun.